up here at San Sofia Station, top of the gondola. Behind me here is the drive bull wheel for the Telluride side, section one of the gondola. We found a crack in the hub of this bull wheel. That was back in February of this year, and we performed an emergency repair and have been monitoring it until the end of the season, and now we have the time to replace it. So this spoke right here, this is the one that was the biggest concern. As you can see, it's about three quarter inch steel plate, and the crack went all the way through the plate. Fortunately, back in September of 2020, we reached out to Doppelmayr to get a spare bull wheel because we were concerned if we did have a major failure of this component, we would be down for an extended amount of time. Obviously, the gondola moves a lot of people. Having downtime is not something that this destination wants. When it does go down, it's a challenge. The maintenance team for the gondola do a fabulous job. They actually think way out ahead. They buy backup parts right now. They're actually doing a bull wheel replacement that was a huge project, has a huge long lead time, and doing it during the downtime is really the, the, the only time to do something like that. So I just have to compliment the team for working so hard and making sure that the downtime to the public is minimized. So the process of replacing the bull wheel starts with clearing section one of all the cabins, get them all offline. So we don't have full cabin storage. We've got them parked everywhere we can up here. We're trying to get all the weight we can off the haul rope. And then down at the return station, down in Telluride, we bring the carriage, which is the tensioning system. We bring it all the way forward. We have about 20 feet of travel down there and that puts the most amount of slack in the haul rope itself and makes it as light as we can possibly get it. And then we'll go and rig up to the rope with plate clamps on either side and then using a hoist we'll pull the rope up the hill and off the back of the bull wheel so that the bull wheel is free. The drive lines need to be disconnected so the drive shafts come out, fluid that's in the bull wheel, that all gets drained and then it's a bunch of pieces that have to just kind of move out of the way and then we lower the whole carriage down, take the bull wheel off the carriage, get it out of the station and begin the process of installing a new bull wheel. We're hoping that this whole project will take us about four days with about 10 guys working through the whole day. Here we are at the end of our second week on this project. We were hoping to be done last week, but we ran into a problem with the fitment of the bull wheel to our drive shaft. So we went back to the engineers at Doppelmayr and came up with a solution. Took some time, Caterpillar's here right now setting up the preload on the bearing. So once Caterpillar's done with the bearings, we'll be able to put the haul rope back on, get the cabins back online, and go through our final checks before we open to the public on Thursday the 25th at 6.30 a.m.